Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And today I'm here to do my May of Moderns TBR. This readathon is hosted by Margaret Pinard, who is a booktuber and author tuber, and I will have her video linked down below. But the idea of this is to read modern literature. I didn't know what that time period composed of until she explained it. And so that is to read something that has been published between 1901 and 1945. And there are five prompts. So the first prompt is sex, most specifically a changing attitude of sex. So coming off of the Victorians into the modern, the concept of sex and sexuality is changing a little bit. And the book that my library had was Lady Shatterley's Lover by D.H. Lawrence. And this is actually a really cute copy, it even has a little like bookmark. So for a lot, all these prompts, I went back to my what to read shelf on Goodreads. And this was the, this was one of the ones that my library had. And the second prompt is a timeless classic, specifically a black classic that discusses race and is still relevant today, unfortunately. And for that, I chose Native Son by Richard Wright. I wanted to pick up and read something by him for a while. This one was available at the library and I was like, let's do this. And beyond wanting to read the author, I don't actually know a whole lot about this book. Prompt number three, war specifically a novel, memoir, poems about World War I and either written by a combatant or someone who was on the front lines. So that could be like a frontline nurse or otherwise. And the book that I picked up from my library is Fear, a novel of World War I by Gabriel Chevalier. And from the author's last name, I'm guessing this is gonna be a French perspective. For prompt number four, End of Empire, it's read a book set in a place that was an imperial possession at the time or by an author from a place that was an imperial possession. For the books that I had been interested in, my library doesn't have a copy, so I'm still looking for a copy of this book, but if this is a prompt that I might have to change something out. But the book that I'm interested in is Humans, Beasts, and Ghosts by Chen Zhang Shu. And this is supposed to be a collection of stories and essays written by Chen, who lived in Shanghai, which was under British control at one point, and then it was under Japanese control. So I think that this very much fits the prompt. And for the last prompt, number five, I have The Other. And this is a book translated from another language. And the book I have chosen for this is How Do You Live by Jinzaburo Yoshino. Or I first heard about this book from Taylor Over Made Between the Pages, and I'm gonna link her review of this because this is what made me want to pick this up. But this is following a young man as he's starting to realize that there's a greater world around him. And it's intercut between his perspective and letters that his uncle is writing to him. And I find that very fascinating. Now my library does have it, but it's not due back until like mid-May, which made me sad. Cause I think this is one that someone has signed up to want to buddy read with me. So I'll have to check with them to see how they're wanting to do this. So far these three are a lot shorter or they look shorter than I was expecting. I mean, it comes from like fantasy where you have nice chunkers kind of thing, but yeah, so I hope to read these in the month of May. Are you participating in May of the Moderns? If so, what are you going to read? Let me know.